greetings, my V family all over the world. This is your one and only gorgeous chief, your upline here on week 35 with my Wednesday message. All right, guys, firstly, some housekeeping, exciting things happening. 8 September, remember, clear your calendar, 3 to 7 p.m. Hong Kong Standard Time. You will hear from the great ones, Japadas Bismarck, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran in the house celebrating our 23rd anniversary. It's a free event on Zoom, Facebook Live, hosted by the We Don't Miss It. And then on the 9th of October, the time will come where we create history again. VCC, right? 2021, VCon Connect, the largest online event in network marketing history is going to be hosted by your grand uplines the V, where you will hear wisdom from the V partners, the people who walk the talk, the people who paid the price, the people who are today grand uplines, icons in the industry of network marketing to get your click. And this will be the most accessible VCon ever because it's online. You can get the ticket, I believe, with RSP. All right. So it's a price of, I think, one month of coffee that you drink from Starbucks or any of your coffee shops. So quit coffee for one month and you can afford to come to VCC, guys. It's a no-brainer. I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear you about your dreams. And this power of association at VCC, I believe, is the most important event of 2021. If ever you want to rise to the ranks of Diamond, Blue Diamond, AVP, V Partner, VCC is where you have to be, all right? Whether you are new, one year old, 10 years old in the business, doesn't matter, guys, all right? Now, guys, uh, on this Wednesday message, after speaking to Dato Sri Vijay, all right, and he reminded me how that we have to identify a vast difference in the people in your organization. Now, each of you belong to a team. Every team has a system which is latched on to the mother system of the V. Now, everyone goes into this system, okay? Whether it's your leadership camps, your welcome, your eight basic building blocks, your rule three, your TAT, your VCC, your ISV, your own motivational events, your weekly system run by your grand uplines of your organization. Everyone comes into the system. Okay, and wait for that click to happen. And as the system is putting people through it, all right, clicks happen. And from those clicks, leaders are born, warriors are born, all right, success stories are born. Okay, and let's assume that thousands of people go through your system every single week. Now, what I want to remind you is a great lesson Dato Sri Vijay taught me. All right, I think almost 20 years ago, which I have applied in my whole networking journey and it has proven to be one of the most powerful principles that I've applied. Now, when you have downlines, your downlines are divided to two groups. Even if you have 10 people, if you're brand new, you've got two people, doesn't matter, apply the same principle. Your downlines are divided to group A and group B, all right? Now, who is Group A? Group A are the hardcore guys. Group A are people that are hungry. Group A are people who had clicks throughout their journey of life, all right? And they came into QNet with eyes wide open, with clear goals, willing to pay the price, fanatical, hungry, warriors, willing to face any challenge. These are guys ready for the battle of financial freedom. And then you got group B. Group B is always the majority, the, the biggest number of your downlines. And these are people who come into the system. They are hungry, but not hungry, all right? Okay, they understand the power of network marketing. They wanna see more proof. They wanna know whether it'll work for them and the system will look after them. All right, and you have to look after group B also. So just think of this visual image of everyone in your organization being blue, all right, and then you got red, 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 scattered. The red guys who are on fire are group A. Now you cannot leave these group A people to go through the same journey as group B. 
because it will be frustrating. All right, it's like any sport. They have something called a scout. A scout will travel throughout the country for cricket, baseball, basketball, football. They travel around the world to identify high potential people. Hypo, all right? Okay, this is a human resource term used by all companies, okay? So imagine now you have high potential people signing up every single day, all right? Together with the normal potential people going through a system. Now, don't get me wrong. Everyone's potential is limitless, all right? But as Dr. Sri Vijay taught me, some people have a timeline before the major click happens. And these people, majority of them, start their timeline from the day they sign up. So it could take them one year, two years, six months, 12 months, whatever their timeline is, for them to get the click where they never, never, never switch off. And these people will rise and conquer the world. Now, there are other group of people, the group A, yeah, the hardcore guys, they, their timeline started even before signing up. These are people like me who started dreaming at the age of 18, 17, that I, no matter what happens, I got to become rich one day. I got to, to make it in life, you know? And, and they have sleepless nights for many years before they join QNet, all right? Now, their timeline of getting activated, that magical click, is much sooner. These are the Group A people. And these people come in all shapes and sizes. And you need to have the eyesight of a scout you need to have that sensitivity in your fingers as a scout to identify your hypo or high potential people as they come into the system. And your system must have a system within the system to identify these people. And if you are a newbie watching my Wednesday message for the first time, and if you believe you are one of these guys whose timeline started before signing up, and the click is already happening the moment you sign up or watch a video of Dato Sri or Japa or the 8 basic building block and you say, this is it. All right. Now you need to put up your hand and make some noise. So you are noticed by your uplines, by your grand uplines, by the system itself so that you can be extracted from the masses and put into group A. All right. The mistake people make is when they apply the same principle of mentoring, of coaching to everyone. So you have heard Dato Sri Vijay always says that every leader has to be coach A and coach B, a mixture of both. Now, who is coach A? Coach A is the guy in the system, the upline, who speaks, who inspires, who motivates, who tells everyone you can do it, all right? Who tells everyone I believe in you and these people are important. And I am coach A many times, all right, okay? Now, Coach A is for Group B. You understand? So, Coach A is required for Group B because Group B are people who have not made that decision, who are not that hungry yet, but they have potential. You just got to inspire, motivate, show them love, uplift them, tell them everything is possible, give them enough information, put them through the system, and inshallah, the click will happen, all right? And they will be powerful people in your organization. So the group B, the masses, need the coach A approach. Now, if you apply the coach B approach, who is coach B? Wake up, smell the coffee. All right, these are people who push, you understand? All right, now a coach B cannot expose him or herself to group B. Everyone will quit because they came into network marketing, believing which is rightfully so that this is a beautiful place and it is a beautiful place. So you can't go and start hammering everyone in group B and everyone is going to quit and say, oh my God, I hate network marketing. It's so painful. The guy is rude, aggressive. There is no love. There is no holding hands. There is no belief. Nobody asking me about my dream. They're smacking me and telling them, go and do a presentation, you bloody moron. You cannot be coach B to group B. Right? Group B, the masses in your organization, they need time to become diamonds. They need time to realize the power of this business and give them that space, but keep them switched on. And that's what your system is for, your weekly system, the videos, the Wednesday message, you know, everything. I hope you're watching this. If you feel that this is a beautiful place, yes, it is. All right? I just want you to achieve your click. 
So stay focused, plug into the system, listen to your uplines, follow the system consistently. Even if you believe you're one of these group B people and you want to take it all right, slow and easy and get inspired along the way, but you must be consistent. Never, 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 never switch off and you'll make it. All right. But if you have a group A group, which can be 10 people, 20, 30, trespass established, the guy comes to you or the girl comes to you and says, push me. I'm ready. All right. Like how I went to Dato Sri Vijay. 23 years ago, I went to Dato Sri Vijay and I told him, this is it. For me, it's do or die. I want to do it big or I want to go home. So please, I give you my fullest permission, Annette, to hammer the shit out of me. As long as, as long as you have the patience, please push me to be a better partner every day. I begged him to be my mentor, to be my coach. I, I followed him as a student. It was painful, sleepless nights, late night mentoring, performance, focus on TAT like a maniac, okay? But I accepted it. So I, I, I believe I was Dato Sri Vijay's group A. And when you have your group A, you got to be coach B because these people want to see results. These people are ready for the pain. They're willing to pay the price from the day they sign up. All right, or maybe three months later or two weeks later, it doesn't matter. But you got to be a scout. You got to identify these people, bring them into group A. Now, group A needs a coach B. Tough love. There must still be love. You cannot help people you don't care about. You can't push people you don't care about. So you have an upline who doesn't care about you. It's not called just being tough. Dato Sri Vijay clearly said, it's tough love. All right, it's so important, okay? So group A needs coach B, group B needs coach A and the system, but group A are your movers and shakers. And that group needs to be constantly replenish more people need to be identified plucked from the system and put into group a you find another shining bright like a diamond that's a song okay and then you pick that potential diamond hypo high potential put them in group a put them in group a group a is about performance it's about commitment it's about presentation it's about crazy tat like this week week number one of Dragon Mansman, you need to put crazy tat on your group a your group b you, you, you usher them, you push them, all right? But gentle. Then you ask them whether they're okay. You listen more than you speak, all right? You, you provide them enough support and the click will happen, I promise you. But group A, you push them. They make or break. You don't have time to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. This is not about brotherly, brotherly love. This is about being a real loyal brother who pushes you beyond your limitations, pushes you out of your comfort zone every single day because they see the potential in you that you may not see in yourself. As long as you're hungry enough, as long as you're angry enough, as long as your timeline is just nice, all right, and there's enough trespass and then tough love will work. And I am a coach B to my group A. And you can ask them. I am unreasonable. Because if you are not unreasonable on your group A, they will not perform. Right? And be reasonable with your group B. But push. A little bit of push. Everyone needs a little bit of push. So if you're watching my video, ask yourself, are you a group A guy, girl, or a group B girl or guy? And if you're group A in your mindset and your paradigm, does your upline treat you like his or her group A? Are you being pushed? If you're not, then you are group B. But if you already achieve your click, then put up your hands, both hands, and tell your upline, listen, I'm ready. Push me. All right? And you need that moment when you realize you're ready. And I think everyone should aspire to be in your upline's group A. I fight to stay in Dato Sri Vijay's group A. The minute I feel that he's treating me like his group B, I cry. Because that means I have shown him that I've lost my hunger, that I've lost my passion, that I'm no longer willing to pay the price. Now, thank God in 23 years, I believe I'm in this group A. But it's a tough place to be because that's where Dato Sri Vijay is unreasonable. 
And I'm telling you, as much as people don't like unreasonableness, I think somebody has to be unreasonable with you for you to truly rise. So remember this, your network consists of group A and group B. Group A needs coach B. Group B needs coach A. And as long as your system is consistent and strong enough, the movement should be from group B, people moving to group A. Every week, people are moving. Now, you may ask this question, could somebody from group A move to group B? It always happens. Some people can't take the pressure, can't take the unreasonableness. And they want the kumbaya life. But the kumbaya life means you will take a longer time to achieve that success you've been dreaming about. Because this is not a leisure cruise. This is a hardcore trip. Right? The journey is beautiful, but it requires you to pay the price. So to all the uplines, if you don't see enough new people coming into your group A, you are failing in identifying those people. You're not wearing the glasses of Dato Sri Vijay. Dato Sri Vijay has an eye of seeing high potential people. Now, you bring them in. Some of them will succeed. Some won't. Some will. Some won't. So what? Someone's waiting in group B. And you keep pulling them on. You don't give up on them. If they give up on you, cool. But you never give up on your group A. You keep pushing. Re-establish trespass. Keep pushing. So ask yourself, are you a strong enough coach B for your group A? And are you an effective enough coach A for your group B? And for those listening, do you belong to your uplines group A or group B? And if you want to be in group A, wake up, shout, perform, be noticed, demand to be in group A and stay there no matter how painful it gets. You never, never give up. Guys, right? Group A is where you want to eventually be because that's where the max out stories of kings and queens come from. Love you guys.